<clears throat> good afternoon. <clears throat> Try again. Good afternoon. Welcome. Not coughing, just a little frog in my throat. <laughs> um, welcome to my broadcast. This is my occasional chat about things related to what I call self mastery. Um, and today I'll talk about which direction are you facing because there's stuff that's up in case you haven't been aware of it. This is what week two, week three in LA for the um, isolating in place what I call physical distancing, not social distancing, because we're socially connected here. But it's definitely a thing that's going on where people are, are very much re, um, contracting, that's the energy I want to use, the word I want to use. They're, 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 they're pulling in, they're sort of retreating from society, because that's kind of what we're supposed to do physically, but I'm seeing people do it emotionally, mentally as well. And so what I will speak to in this little chat, this invitation, is about the direction you're facing, because for some people, I'm realizing there's seven spokes on this one, so let me see where I go with first. When they retreat, it's a chance to look within. Yes, actually consciously choose to be present with oneself. That's not very common. There's a lot of people out there who are basically retreating and doing Netflix popcorn and overeating at home. It's been, it's been tempting me, but I haven't done it yet. I just watch a lot of Netflix at night. <laughs> I still got work to do, and I thankfully do it. I said on another broadcast that it's really strange that I've been basically working from my computer at home for years, but now because we're supposed to stay at home, I feel more 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 con, um, contained than ever, which is ridiculous because it's the same thing I'm doing as doing before. But the thing we'll talk about is really about the idea about direction. I'm speaking about this in a bigger term, which basically is for many people right now, they're looking out at the world, they're looking behind them, what's been happening and feeling very scared, shut down and, and concerned and not necessarily able to be functional. And it's a challenging time in some things because certain physical things we are not able to do because of the isolation stuff we're going through. But what I want to speak to is about what direction you're actually looking to go in, not the direction you want to come from. That's the main breakdown we're going to talk about. But there's also, again, seven other spokes to this. So let's see if they come up. Hi, Dan and Danielle. Nice to see you in my broadcast here as well. <laughs> so first of all, for a lot of people right now, this is a time where looking at the vision of what they want to do in the future is really shut down. For some people, there is definitely this idea about, well, I'd like to, like, like to get out and do something in the world after it's over. Personally, I'm very clear that in the next few months, once we get through this, i got some traveling to do. Um, partly because I'm definitely going to go home and see my dad, presuming he's still around then because he's in his 90s and he, he's close to the end. And my brother's in Italy and I'm over here, so neither one else can get over to see him in case something happens. So there's definitely a priority for me to do that once I know we can travel, presuming there's time for that. Secondly is I've got friends I've got to go visit in other states that I've been, I was putting off, to be honest. Had I not, I could have gone and seen them already. Of course, I could have been stuck there, but anyway, another conversation. But the truth is I've got a vision of things I want to do. That's just, that's just personal playtime. But I'm speaking more about what about your life path? For a lot of people right now, I'm just listening to, the, listen to Meg Garcetti just talk about the unemployment. As you know, excuse me, NPR talking about the employment situation right now. A lot of people may be going through job challenges, as in, no focus on where they're going to go next. They're not sure what to do next because they're right now they're seeking unemployment because their company shut down or their restaurant or business shut down and they're not sure what to do next. And it can feel disheartening. This is not easy. To, this is not unless let me say it another way. In our lifetimes, we haven't experienced anything like this. For most most of us, you know, previous previous virus attacks were so long ago that attacked, affected us as a nation was nineteen twenty something, nineteen ten something. And the last time that world was the, the country was so impacted was during a world war. So for many of us, we've never experienced anything this dramatic before as a societal impact. So for some people, this is very scary this time because it feels very unsettling. Now, of course, there are those people who are sort of oblivious. They're just going about doing the same thing they're doing all the time. And I'm watching the people on the bike path riding as if nothing's going on, although some of them are wearing masks. That was, the, that was, by the way, in case you're in L.A., I just heard on, on the news today that we are supposed to be wearing masks out in public, not N95 masks, just regular masks, homemade ones even, even a bandanas are workable, when we're out around other people. And if you're out for a walk, it's not an issue, but if you're going to be around other people in close proximity, you've got to keep the, the spray inside, so to speak. <laughs> the word to the wise, that was what, what Garcetti, Mayor Garcetti spoke about tonight. Anyway, back on track. So what I want to speak to, invite, encourage you to look at is, do you have any intentions and plans for where you want to go after this? I mean, just to get through it is a, is, is a, for some people, that's a big enough dream they can have. It's like, do you want to get through this shutdown and get at the other side? Because to be honest, it's a little scary because we don't know when it's going to end. 
know, they keep moving the goal. It's not anything where they keep moving the goalposts. That's an old English adage from from soccer. I don't know if it's, it may be in American football too. I don't know. But there's this thing where we're basically not sure what's going to We don't know where the end is. You know, I, I said last week, I think it's going to be probably at least two months, as in the end of May before we're going to get back to normal, if at all, in this year. Some people are saying, you know, there was a certain person was saying about Easter, now they're saying the end of April. I don't think it's going to happen before the end of May. There are states out there that haven't even looked at what they need to do yet. And because these states are all contiguous, one landmass, until the last state really chooses into this, we may be stuck with having to put up with this. So my invitation to you is look at what is it you want to do. As I said before earlier, a lot of people are shutting down and, and going within. And for some of the, a small subset of that population, people are actually going in within to look at themselves. So if you're not already doing this, I recommend you do that, is look at yourself as what motivates you, what drives you, what inspires you. Start looking at what your strengths are, your skills, your joy, what, what fills you with joy. We were talking about this last night in a mastermind group I'm part of. Thank you, Katie, for this one. And it was very clear that we have the opportunity to start transforming our lives even now in the middle of this time. Spending this current time looking back at what we're missing, although it was kind of funny, a friend of mine posted a picture earlier today, herself in a bikini down in Mexico, remembering her fondness for that like, you know, six months ago. But six months ago, we, didn't, we weren't even thinking about this. It wasn't our conversation. It was not even there. And, and it is kind of a game changer now because we're looking at what we're doing, you know, with the fact Easter's coming up and Passover's coming up for those of the Jewish faith. So our experience of how we um, connect with people has to be virtual right now. You know, it's what we have to do. And so I'm very aware that this is not an easy time for people. I'm very aware of that. And if you've got a birthday during this time, I feel for you, my birthday was right before this started. In fact, my, my, the birthday party, I was gonna, birthday party I was gonna go to happened right when we shut down. So I'm missing out too. <laughs> but also I'm thinking about, because um, a friend of mine, her granddaughter is graduating this year. So their prom, their graduation, doing the, doing the graduation walk, all that stuff is, is off, up in the air right now. So for a lot of people, there's a lot of discord right now, concern, challenging, not feeling comfortable. And if you are feeling comfortable in, and it's really consciously being comfortable, good on you. But if you're feeling numb by this, I can understand how you feel. It can be a challenging time. For many people, it is a challenging time. I've been reading other people's posts and, and putting out what I hope are inspirational quotes and memes and things to help people look at life with a better, better possibility. That's the reason I started, and I'll plug this later on, by the way, um, my self-mastery revolution. It's basically the intention is to create teachings, or should I say share teachings, and create a space for people who want to really take a handle on what they want to do in their lives. So I'll tell you about that at the back end. So getting back on the topic. So this thing about direction is it's very tempting sometimes to be in reaction. Now I've spoken about this a lot more in about two previous talks about reaction versus response, but I want to just touch into it here as well. Because if your direction is based upon reactivity to things that have happened, whether it's with this current COVID experience with the virus or in your past relationships, because stuff, this stuff is, is um, interchangeable in some ways. The experience you're facing, what you're going through, what you're dealing with, is almost independent of the trigger. It's a chance to look inside. So my, my encouragement to you in this moment, because what's going on with the virus is particularly, but also with life in general, is you might be feeling yourself dealing with the reactivity, reactivity of things that are happening. If that's what's driving you, you're actually losing out on what you can have. When I talk about reactivity versus responsiveness, what I'm saying with response is a response is ownership. When you respond to what's happening, you have ownership of your choice about what you do. If you're reacting, you're generally driven by what's happening outside of yourself. And that's powerlessness. Yes, powerlessness. <laughs> Being powerless. So understanding there's a choice point can be very pivotal. And part of that is the direction you choose. Because if you're looking back at what's happening or what's not working, or outside of the um, insurmountable uncertainty of this time we're facing, it can be very disheartening. You can feel very lost and you can feel very reactive to what's happening. And I'm getting better, thankfully, because I've been, especially with this current experience, because again, it's all, this experience is new to all of us. But I've been reading a lot of articles and, and there's a lot of stuff with the conspiracy stuff as well as what's going on that's factual and, and hypothetical. And people are sharing some of the stuff through Messenger about these, these calls to meditation and everything else. Let me be clear. We all have our own ways of dealing with this. So don't judge anybody else, by the way. But secondly, more than anything else, we have the freedom freedom to choose how we respond to what's happening. So first of all, remember to take your 
Um, take the keys to your car back, so to speak. The keys to your own car back, yourself. Not giving away somebody else to drive for you. Take ownership of your choices and be looking, looking at what you want to do in response to this. If you're being driven by panic, that's an indication that you're being reactive. If you're being able to breathe calmly, and I mentioned this to one of my clients a couple of days ago about doing what, what I call the square breath, it's also called the box breath, which basically is a way of calming yourself by breathing in slowly, counting to four, breathing in, breathing, I'm sorry, breathing into four, hold it for four, breathe out for four, and then hold it for four. Slowly, not just go, breathe in four, you know, it's not so slowly. So understanding that you have a choice point to actually do things to take back your own responsiveness is a powerful place to reframe and to shift. It is tempting. I can tell you it's very tempting by what's happening around us to get pulled into all the craziness. But it's maybe the best time to practice self-remembering, self-discipline, self-mastery, and self-responsiveness. It's time we learn, if not ready, to remember how to stay, take charge of our lives. Not to be dynamic pushing things out, but to be centered in ourselves. Because the best way to respond to what's going on is to stay centered in your heart. That's the direction I recommend for everybody is to put your heart first in everything you do. Because the things I've said, I, I was sort of in one, another Facebook Live about how living in um, living in LA, and there's probably other country around the country that have this, is they have an app called Nextdoor. And Nextdoor is like a neighborhood um, notice board kind of thing people post all the time. And seeing what's happening in our neighborhood has been wonderful. People sharing stuff, helping each other out. You know, the posts like six months ago were car break-ins and missing pets and vandalism and sleep and homeless people. Now all the posts are about, okay, who's posting what restaurants what, what restaurants are open, what their treatments are experience, what the experiences are like, what, what grocery stores have what's in stock, who has made some baked goods, come and get them. It's been amazing to watch the community come together. That to me is responsiveness versus reactivity. So I hope where you live, that may be possible too, that maybe there's some responsiveness in your community. If not, maybe you want to start it. But understand that you have a choice. Everything right now is giving us choices. You can be an autopilot and um, <laughs> be under the um, sway of something else outside of yourself. Or you can be focused on taking care of yourself first so you can take care of others. This is a powerful point we're in, in time we're going through. It'll be something we'll take your grandkids, so to speak, off. But the, what we're going through right now is an interesting time. But choosing to put yourself first, heart-centered first, and look direction where you want to go versus reacting to where you've been, are powerful places to learn from. So, as I mentioned earlier, and drop the little seed now in case you're interested, I, I, I did launch, and I have people signing up now for my self-mastery revolution. It is a membership group I'm putting it's a private group so it's not visible it's a private group on Facebook where I'm going to teach a lot more pri 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 pleh, say it again teaching a lot more specific things that will help you on your path if you're finding yourself challenged by this it's a very low entry fee by the way it's, it's just a minimal monthly investment based on the price of a couple of uh, Starbucks um, or, you can buy, or you can invest as an annual member and save money anyway so the I'll put the link in the comments you can check it out for yourself it's something that I'm offering as a much more easy access way to work with me as a group individually I'll put some bonuses in there too. I'm offering special, I'm putting stuff in there before anywhere else. So if you want to join in, you get first first access to what I'm offering. And I'm going to put some stuff I've taught before in there, including some forgiveness teachings. I just put a, a, a video in there about um, guilt and resentment, how to heal that sort of uh, judgment practice issue. Issue, no, yeah. And how you can really find your way through. So if you want to, I'll give you the verbal link if you want to check it out. It's my name, barryselby.com forward slash self mastery revolution or one word. So you can check it out, come join me. I welcome you to come in and play. Um, you do it monthly or you can pay for the year, it's up to you. It's gonna be an ongoing support structure, especially during this time. It feels like I'm being, I'm being, I was being pushed, guided, directed <laughs> to put this out as an offering. So that's gonna be out there for you too to as well. So my last reminder to you, <clears throat> excuse me, is to really look at your directional choice. If you're looking where you've been, where you're looking what's not working, and you're being in a reaction, that isn't going to help you. It's actually giving you power away to whatever it is that you're being upset about. If you're focusing on where you want to go, what you want to be, how you want to serve, in a place that's responsive to what's happening, that's in power, that's healthy, that's whole. So you'll feel into, and you can tell yourself, what's motivating you, inside or outside. If it's outside, no win. If it's inside, that's a win. Well, I'm not saying win-lose, but the power is really comes from within. You can, you can make the choice anytime you want. If you want some help, I can help you, of course. 
but I invite you to check out my group because that's where we're going to talk a lot about how you get self-motivated and self-inspired and self-fueled um, so you can have what you really want. So um, that's about it. I think that's what I really want to talk about was really get that on the table because it's going on right now. I do, as always, invite you, encourage you, wish that you take care of yourself more than you have. Take care of yourself better and better and better because we're going through an interesting time right now. And I thank you for watching my broadcast. And if you have any questions, comments, please put them below. Message me if you want to have any, if you want to ask any questions directly um, or privately. And uh, that's about it. I thank you for watching. I will see you again some other point. And again, a reminder, please take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon.